Welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell, and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, Sunday, September the 6th, 2015, as well as Monday, September the 7th, 2015. And as always, thank you for taking time to watch this. Retweet, post, subscribe, become a fan, even support me on Patreon.com. All that information at my website, intuitivemitchell.com. So the message today, I like it. I like it. So it's gardening references. So Let's get to the root of your problems, your issues, or your challenges. You know, it gets real tiresome when all you keep doing is trimming off the top, trimming the superficial stuff, because the root is still there. And I was in my quiet meditation just before, and you know, and I thought, how do I, how do I deliver this? What, you know, how does this apply to everyday kind of a thing? You know, and I thought. You know, why doesn't anyone love me? You know, why, you know, love relationship, you know, so you ask yourself, you know, you know, why, why do you think you have difficulty finding someone, you know, because no one wants to, no one likes me. Why do you think they don't like you? Because they don't want to stick around. You know, why is that? Because you're hard to manage. Well, why is just continue to ask the questions, you know, what supports the next, the next answer? You know, if you're looking for a job, you know, do you, why do you think you not find a job that you like? Ask yourself those questions. And as it kind of digs a little bit deeper and deeper deeper you're probably gonna get back to something of a root issue where you weren't happy as a child you know what wh why do you, when you're looking for love you know why do you keep picking the wrong people you know because I didn't have love when I was a child why not because mom and dad were too busy why were they too busy because they were trying to support us why were they trying to support you to give you everything you need you know what did you think they were doing that for because they loved us. So dig down and, and you're still misconstruing maybe what you felt as a child. But ultimately, you can just dig a little deeper with questions, with quiet meditation, with guidance from those on the other side, your guides, your angels, to help you find out what the root is and pluck the root out. Get rid of the root, otherwise it just keeps growing. So. There you go. Let's look at some cars and some energy of the numbers in the day and see what's going on for today and tomorrow. So today is the sixth day of September and Lenormand is going to be house. I love it because we got offers on our house too, which is good. And then we know what house we want to move into. So we just got to start the ball rolling. So this is about your house, your home, um, you know, the place you call home. And then terror to go along with it is the Knight of Wands. So Knight of Wands is often about <clears throat> younger person, fire sign, you know, that Sagittarius Leo or airy side. They're usually young, impetuous, quick moving, fast, you know, you know, sparky in the mind. And, you know, I would look at this and say, okay, it's the younger, younger people that are want to buy the house. And that's kind of what we chose. But for you, look for the younger person, probably male, in and around your home that's coming in, you know, with the energy of the day, six. Six is that balance, nurturing. It is the family focus. It is the marriage and divorce responsibility and duty, domestic and work issues. So look for the for the children in your home. And again, like I said, male. And then also all the numbers for today add up to five, which is shifting, moving, train, transition, um, definitely change, um, versatility, and even freedom. So that energy is floating in and around your house today. And I think you just, I think spirit is telling me just to allow that energy to move and shift. Don't try to control it today. Lenormand for tomorrow, the seventh day, Monday, Labor Day here in the U.S. Hello, mice. Once again. Our mice are showing up. So tomorrow, this can be about nibbling away, behind the scene deterioration, you know, tiny little bites, you know, to finally deteriorate, big holes and things. And Terra to go along with it is going to be Ace of Wands. So I love that we had the Knight of Wands for today, meaning yesterday, and then tomorrow is the Ace of Wands. So we go from that night energy in and around the home to what's deteriorating things. Look for that spark. Look for where you can start making some changes. And tomorrow's energy is seven. Seven is analytical, research, science, solitude, spiritual focus, mystical, metaphysical. So there's definitely a spiritual aspect with that ace of wands because wands are spiritual, creative, fire sign. And then tomorrow's number is six. So we're back to number six from yesterday. All the numbers out of the six. You know, this is the balance, nurturing, domestic and work focus, family focus, duty, responsibilities with this mice and this ace of swords. Look where there might be a spark or the start of something that is going to be deteriorating and nip it in the butt, get to the root of the problem. So back to the root of the problem could be in and around the home. Back to the root of the problem could be what's hidden and not seen behind the scene, which is where roots usually are deep in the earth where you can't see them. So there's your message. Thank you to those of you who showed up yesterday. 
for in-person readings at um, in College Park at the New Vision Spiritualist Church. I had an amazing time. Twelve sessions yesterday. It was good. Good day. So check out my website. Um, Facebook page has more events. I've got October 17th, 24th, December 5th, and February 5th and 6th of next year. Those are all times when I'm doing in-person readings in the Central Florida area. And um, my special is still up. But I'll be honest with you, I am pretty booked before the holidays, but you can purchase that special and we can get it done at any time. So, not Namaste. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.